Hello. Okay, I'm the first one trying the mic here, so bear with me. Uh, oh, that is not what I anticipated. Thank you guys for having me. Uh, when I first heard about this event, I thought, okay, it's another speaking event. We're going to talk technology. No problem, not a big deal. Um, I tended to travel around letting people know what we do at Gravity Jack. And then I had a uh, video conference with Captain Scott and Colonel Fritz, and he's talking about Lyft and how we're wanting to experience or hear other people's stories and how it can impact and the conversion of what is set up here by whomever's here could resonate with you guys out there, someone out there. And then I was like, oh, okay, this is something I've never done before. I'm gonna have to step out of my comfort zone here. But he's right in that there's power in each of our stories. Our life stories, our, our career paths, our families, whatever that is, we have no idea how what we've done can inspire someone else's future. So started thinking about that, and I was at an event a couple months ago down in San Francisco, all these big wig tech CEOs, multi-multi-million dollar corporation, or companies rather, and I thought, okay, this is like, again, out of my league, and one of the gentlemen came up and looked around, and I hadn't even noticed this part, and he goes, so you're with a tech company? And I said, yeah, one of the co-founders said, and we started talking, and he goes, you're kind of a unicorn amongst us. And I was like, what? What does that mean? Does that even mean? And I look around, and I'm one of two females there. So when I was talking with Colonel Fritz, it was this, this moment of, okay, there could be something here. The story that's brought me into this high-tech industry that definitely females are never a part of, and I'm passionate about, um, could help inspire on how to lead, how you may want to lead or see leaders. So I uh, thought I'd start with the beginning of my story. So uh, it started on a drop zone down near <laughs> Cal City, so uh, Edwards Air Force Base. I was a skydiver uh, going to college and on my way to law school. That's the plan, right? And then we all know life your plan. If any jumpers out there, no form critiques, this is fun jumping. Some of these parts I think I pushed out of the plane. Um, so definitely fun stuff here. But um, so I'm, yeah, it's kind of a jumper. I ride sport bikes and I ride them how they're supposed to be ridden. That matters for any of you riders out there. Um, I love adventure and maybe that's part of seeking out the roles and, and where life has, has taken me thus far. But on my way to law school, down in a drop zone, met my current co-founder um, down there and ended up moving to Washington State. So what I want to kind of flow through in this brief story today is opportunities. I want the takeaway in your hearts and your minds and in your, in your spirits to be opportunities in really unexpected, unusual places. They're there for all of us. So to be able to see those opportunities with new lenses and find ways that every person here can take advantage of them. So I'm uprooted to Washington State. Um, then I became CFO of a software company, pre-mobile pre phones at that point. Um, ran that company and, and that opportunity, well, confusing, frankly, when it starts out, uh, taking advantage of that opportunity led to that company being acquired. So it was obviously a, a good choice in the end. And that, that acquisition led me into a gaming company. So I became CFO at that gaming company as well, which opened up a whole new level of technology I didn't even know was there. And then stirred up this new drive in me to want to be in that industry long term. Again, go back on the, on the drop zone, ride sport bikes and whatever, and now I'm, I'm in technology, a high technology company I wasn't expecting, but, it, but seeking those opportunities. So after the gaming um, component with that, that being a CFO role there, it led into what is now Gravity Jack today. So at the time, we're talking like 2009, um, we, it's, there was a concept kicked around while I was on this two-year contract at the gaming company of augmented reality. So how many of you guys know what augmented reality is? Wow, I was expecting a lot more hands. Like Pokemon Go. No? Okay, a little bit. I, 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 back in 2009, it was the question was, do you have a smartphone? And it was nobody. Nobody has a smartphone. So um, Gravity Jack 2009 
uh, the concept of augmented reality was presented, hey, Jen, this is this idea I have, or we have, and we think a pitch will be the future, but it was kind of glazed over. And I was like, we need a hold, like we need to pause this moment and, and dive a little deeper. And I was like, no, no, and it kept moving on. And it was one of those <laughs> pivotal life moments now. I now know that, you know, retrospectively looking back, but I looked and I said, this is it. This is the future. This is a technology of, it's not a matter of if it's going to go there, it's a matter of when, and we need to seize this opportunity and be a part of it, or we're gonna get brushed aside. And uh, I was a little adamant about it. We ended up building patents with augmented reality and ultimately our entire company um, at Gravity Gap. So I spoke to, when I say I asked if people had smartphones, I was speaking at Spokane Angel Alliance, um, about the concept, you know, we're trying to raise money, and it's it's a little out of your comfort zone when you're going to ask people for money to invest in a technology that really doesn't exist at that point in time. Uh, at the end of the, the pitch or, or talk or discussion or whatnot, they came up to me after and said, you know, while it sounds really cool, it's just not going to happen in our lifetime. And I just really? This is the group that didn't even have smartphones, but looked at him and was like, yeah, I just don't think it's gonna happen, blah, 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 blah. Two, three years later, the same guy did come up and he said, okay, Jen, I wanna apologize. And I was like, let's pause it again at this moment and appreciate it. He's like, you were right. It's definitely gonna happen. I uh, wish we would have been a part of it back then. So there's, that you know, sometimes when your instincts are flaring and you know in your gut and you know every bit of you, you need to pursue that. People are gonna call you crazy. People aren't going to believe in you. And that's not what matters. It doesn't. Actually, I'm getting goosebumps. It's not what matters. When you know it and you feel it, you pursue it. Um, and again, Gravity Jack, so blessed and thankful that we did. Anybody who doesn't know Augmented Reality, I'll be here all day. I'd love to talk shop. So, so definitely grab me after. Um, one of my favorite quotes, Sun Tzu, in the midst of chaos, there's also opportunity. Don't forget that. Not everything's not all peachy keen and everything's great. You know, well, I am by nature a naturally positive person. It doesn't mean in all the crazy, you can't find these incredible opportunities to just latch onto and pursue. Um, and when I was looking at things like, you know, war fighters and opportunities and things like that, I see I'm also kind of a comic geek. I love, love movies, love the comic, the Marvel series especially, but this is like the came up true Death Star story. <laughs> And I was like, what? So I started reading it with regards to opportunities. And this is the story of the Bismarck from World War II. I'm not sure if anyone's familiar with it. But anyways, basically, giant battleship, giant German ship, and it's a Navy, not Air Force. Sorry, guys, and, and gals, and uh, the Royal Navy at that. But this ship was unsinkable. So instead of you know being discouraged, which I'm sure in your guys is what you do every single day, you're presented with problem after problem after problem after problem. But again, in every problem, you can look at it as an untapped opportunity. In this case, the, um, the Royal Navy ended up finding the Bismarck's spot. They found an opportunity, they seized it, and they took the ship out. Rendered it useless and then finished the job. But still, it, if you could have looked at this, and you guys and everything that you do in fighting for us can look at those as, obstacles, or can't do it, or you can have that negative um, thought flash through your mind, or we can seek opportunities, and we can find those problems and those solutions that become our opportunities. So some people, you know, revert back to that, well, how do you see them, or where are they, or I just, I don't get opportunities presented to me like you do, or like whatever, like Joe does. And it's not always about what's handed to you. It really becomes a mindset. It's, it's wanting something. It's feeling it and, and wanting to pursue it, wanting to be greater. Whether you're leading people in that or you're leading your own charge, you're leading your own life. That mindset of looking for opportunities and, and a new way of shaping, molding, and pursuing your own passion. Um, on that same note, when I open fresh eyes, it's, it may not be easy. 
you know, your, your natural inclination might not be. Well, look at this you know, issue here. Oh, it's an opportunity for improvement. Or I, I can seize this. It, no. But if you can make that conscious, conscious effort to try to just look, to open your eyes to what's in front of you, you become your own leader. You're able to innovate through these new lenses. You can inspire others because there's a light. People see that, they seek that, and they're attracted to that, um, I don't want to say ambition, but it's, it's just a desire for something more. Whatever that more is, everybody's, everybody's more is different, but that completely shines through to everyone around you. Never, never doubt that. Um, comfort zone, something we all talk about, but to see these opportunities or to seize these, uh, look at these problems as, as opportunities for you, get out of that comfort zone. You have no idea. I'm up here talking about a story of leading a high-tech company and it's definitely nothing that I, you know, I've ever sought to do in the past. But who knows, there might be some nugget of something that I've said today that's impactful on somebody. And getting out of that comfort zone is a whole new level of opportunities. So I'm always trudging in the same path. Only those kind of opportunities may be presented. But when you're turning and you're relating to people in different ways or solutions, getting out of that comfort zone, you're going to see a whole new level of where you could possibly be. Going from being CFO of a, of a tech company from the drop zone in law school, not comfortable. It was not comfortable. It was like not part of who I was or what I typically did. And it's, it's been a very blessful ride. I'm not pretending there weren't problems along the way, but let's just not focus on those right now. <laughs> uh, the other one is trust your instincts. Uh, I'm a firm, firm, firm believer in that. Some people say, well, your instincts could take you the wrong way. And we're just going to edge case that and talk about the real components of who you are, what you want to do when you're when you're strong in that and your instincts are flaring it doesn't matter who tells you you're wrong you would rather pursue that because your instincts are telling you to and then later on go okay lesson learned i'll chalk that up as one as one of those growing moments that's fine but but those instincts when they're true and they're strong help with the mindset they help with opening fresh eyes and they can help with going to different areas where it's good, even going out of your comfort zone. If it's an adamant, no, don't do it, you're not gonna do it. But if your instincts are somewhere and they're going, give it a shot, then trust it and go with it. So the biggest takeaway I have or want you to have today is to seize those unexpected moments, no matter how small, no matter how big, pursue them passionately, and you never know where life is going to take you. And I do want to take, tell every single one of you in here, thank you. You guys have provided the protection for me, my family, and my company so that we even have the opportunities that, that are available to us. So thank you guys. I'll be here all day. So if you have any questions, grab me, and we'll talk then.